Well, this has been a long time in coming, meaning that I just never got around to it. <laughs> but uh, there are some parallels, I guess, between what happened with uh, the DCEU, that being the uh, DC version uh, or, or response, if you will, to uh, the MCU, uh, and Star Wars. Uh, so, uh, you had, uh, some films like Man of Steel, it, it does okay. Uh, it begins what it, well, at the time, if you go back through the story, it was not meant to be the beginning of a shared universe, blah, blah, blah. It's another whole story, but that's what it became. And then it was followed up by, uh, Batman versus Superman. And, uh, the reaction to it uh didn't go very well even though it made its money with star wars you had the force awakens uh you know open up this new era of star wars under disney and then uh it, it, it made a lot of money it was far more successful than man of steel and but still uh was not overwhelmingly hated like it is now <laughs> well i wouldn't say overwhelmingly uh, because, uh, there's another contender that's far worse than that thing ever could be. And, uh, and then you, it was followed by The Last Jedi. Now, a Batman versus Superman isn't quite at the level of Last Jedi, but it kind of had the same effect as Last Jedi did on, on a film like Solo. Whereas, uh, the follow up films, uh, started to suffer from that and by the time you get to justice league it was already pretty negative uh the atmosphere around it even before you saw it um and since then with uh the snyder cut and uh, people wanting that myself included uh released the snyder cut uh would, would want to see that and the uh the result of how justice league came about uh, was pretty poor, and so once it comes out, and people who actually see it, and then come out, yeah, it's not that good. It's kind of stupid, and so that was that, and uh, pretty much everything came to a screeching halt for that franchise. You had the success in Wonder Woman. This is where things deviate because Wonder Woman comes after Batman versus uh, Superman, and does very well. Uh, unlike uh, poor Solo, who had to pay for the sins of Last Jedi. And so that's how that roars it. So the parallels are not complete parallel. <laughs> it's just both franchises have suffered trauma. Although by comparison, it appears the DC one uh, uh, has some amount signs of recovery and uh, uh, possible surviving. Star Wars, I think, can come back at some point. But right now, this is very devastating uh, to it as to what happened so uh, justice league in its theatrical form this is what you got and, and if hopefully the uh, snyder cut can be released but even if it is it was uh supposed to be followed up by a sequel so uh even if you get it it's like well it's kind of a cliffhanger ending and all that <laughs> but the desire to see it uh is still there and so hopefully uh that'll happen in some form or fashion but Justice League, in and of itself, when I went to see it, by the time I got to it, I'd already heard a lot of negativity about it. And uh, while I'm sitting in the theater, I'm kind of sitting there watching it, and I'm thinking, well, when does this get really bad? Because <laughs> in and of itself, it's not an awful film. I've seen awful films, and most notably, The Last Jedi is an awful film. Um, Justice League uh, doesn't do the damage to its characters in any w w form or fashion the way just uh, Last Jedi did, most notably to Luke Skywalker. It, uh, it treated its own the new characters. The idea is to uh, expand it and grow new characters and pass it on to a new generation, all that. But the new characters are just sidelined and treated like jokes the the star the new hero ray is just sort of there and, and she doesn't get anything whereas in justice league uh new characters are introduced you get more uh, a little bit of detail for uh, aquaman uh cyborg and uh, the flash and they each get their their moments 
And uh, for what it is, although I'm suspecting there was more to it, I know there was more to it from what we've gotten from what the Snyder version would have been. But nevertheless, the film as it is, it gives you far more uh, on these characters than what Last Jedi does for its characters. And so uh, Justice League wins on that one. (laughs) Uh, Last Jedi, uh, well, uh, the photography is better. The special effects are far superior to what uh, uh, Justice League had. Of course, there there is no uh, mustache gate <laughs> for Henry Cavill and his mustache. <laughs> that, the, visually, that's probably the biggest blunder. Um, but comparatively, between the two, uh, the Star Wars, you know, special effects is pretty much uh, tends to be second to none, uh, and that's true with Last Jedi as well. Uh, the musical score, of course, hands down, uh, John Williams nails it. And, uh, so, so yeah, there are, uh, aspects of Last Jedi that are good, but they're all, you know, the surface values, uh, I don't know about costuming. I guess the costuming is pretty much a draw here <laughs> between the two. I don't know, but that's about it. Uh, Justice League has goofy things and it's uh, ridiculous attempts to copy Marvel and probably some of the dumb humor bits they threw in was probably what was added in uh, on direction from uh, the WB executives who were convinced that that was the the magic trick to uh, Marvel movies and they had Joss Whedon come in and do this and just tack it on to this uh, footage they already had and then you reshoot new footage to make it all fit and all that. Plus, uh, plot-wise... Uh, the Justice League is just real, it's just ridiculous. I mean, the original storyline apparently is that Steppenwolf was looking to capture those mother boxes so that he can recreate the spirit and power of his dead mother in order to have enough power to take on Darkseid and overthrow him. He fails in this because he dies at the end. Apparently Wonder Woman decapitates him with her sword <laughs> after Aquaman uh, spears him. <laughs> and then Superman punches him towards Wonder Woman and then she chops his head off. The head goes flying through a boom tube and all this stuff. <laughs> and then you see Darkseid. Okay, well that didn't happen. Uh, the whole plot was that the uh, Steppenwolf and the Parademons could sense the Earth's fear. They could smell the fear. (laughs) Because Superman had died at the end of Batman versus Superman. And uh, so this is what scared him. And the problem with that is, well, uh, World War II didn't scare them. The Cold War, the fear of a nuclear annihilation didn't fill the Earth with fear. Uh, You know, the Crusades didn't. The Black Plague didn't. You know, all that. Uh, no, it, well, because keep in mind that the premise was that Steppenwolf had been to Earth before thousands of years ago, and uh, now he was back to finish what he had started then. Um, it, uh, yeah, because I can smell your fear, <laughs> it's, it's pretty bad. So, I don't know that that was any part of the original storyline, but nevertheless, uh, that's a pretty sour thing there so the goofiness of it uh, some of the elements of the flash he's supposed to be a comic relief uh it goes way overboard at times and takes you out of the picture uh which messes it up if they tone that down would have worked out a lot better uh cyborg was probably the more interesting ones but he doesn't get enough story there a lot more than poor finn gets uh and uh, poe in uh <laughs> last jedi but nevertheless not nearly enough um because they wanted the movie to be shorter uh, than it originally was and all that. So, way too much interference. Oddly enough, Last Jedi apparently didn't get any interference. Uh, Unlike most Star Wars, uh, Disney Star Wars movies, there were no reshoots, and boy, it probably should have been (laughs) reshot. But ultimately, at the end, what's the matter with Last Jedi? Is it the the feminism? Is it the the stupid Canto Bite story? Yeah, that's all dumb crap, and uh, there's dumb crap in uh, uh, Justice League. But Justice League doesn't do anything like what Last Jedi did to Luke Skywalker. It completely destroyed his character. It was a, a very stupid plot. It makes no sense at all, and if for and for nothing. You know, you'd say, well, they're trying to build up Ray. Did it? You know, just because she's there? You know, and this idea that I've heard from other people is she's supposed to be a blank slate so that girls and women can project themselves onto her. I, why would you? 
I, you know, I, but but it, 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 she's got nothing there. They never give her a story. So the idea that this is a pro uh, woman message uh, falls flat in that you don't give the female character anything. But meanwhile, Luke Skywalker, if you know anything about the narrative of the original story and who this character is, uh, you need a lot more than a minute of him trying to murder his nephew as to explain why he is the where where he is. It, it just just awful. So Justice League had a little too much goofiness in it, but that's nothing compared to what uh, Last Jedi did to itself to the Star Wars franchise. So uh, in the end, Justice League wins. <laughs> So, yeah, you. Uh, I don't. Uh, hopefully, we'll get a Snyder cut. But if we don't, you still got that <laughs> the extra release. And hey, it's not Last Jedi, so <laughs> it's not that bad. <laughs> so, so there you go. Uh, and Justice League versus Last Jedi. In the end, Justice League wins. Uh, it's special effects. I uh, had a lot of problems, most notably a, a bad mustache uh, removal. Uh, and so Je Last Jedi wins that, but uh, respect for its characters, uh, it was nowhere near as devastating as what Last Jedi did. And so for all its uh, music and uh, great photography and sound effects and all that, it's meaningless when you do that to uh, one of the heroic characters of the franchise. So there you go. Uh, Justice League wins. <laughs> Thank you for watching and listening. Say, why not like and subscribe and check out that link description below. That'll take you to my mini stores that have plenty of goodies for you. And hashtag release the Snyder Cut. <laughs>